Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming back for more videos. Today I'm going to show you how to file your KRA returns for P9 or for the people who are employed. Uh, the P9 is given for the people who are employed, especially the teachers employed either by companies or in other organizations that is recognized by the national government. So for you to file uh, your P9, you require to have uh, several things. First of all, you require to have your KRI PIN. You are required to have your KRI PIN password. You require to have your P9 form. So without much ado, I will be showing you, I will be taking you through all this process, what you require to do, how you do it, and everything that you need to know. So the first thing is that you are supposed to log in uh, to take your favorite browser. Uh, that is, uh, for me, it's uh, Mozilla. Then go and type KRA portal. So after K typing KRI portal, you will wait for a second. Then it loans the ITAX. Then you click the first link. After the first link, it will take you. Uh, it will take some few seconds for it to open. Uh, sorry for that. This one was logged in. I want us to start from afresh. There was a KRI pin that was logged in here. So. Uh, when you open the link, it will take you somewhere that you can log in, uh, like this one. So this is where you put your KRA pin. So here we type our KRA pin. After typing the KRA pin, you click continue. After clicking continue, you will be required to enter your password. So I will enter my password. After that, you'll be required to, uh, to solve a simple arithmetic, that is security stamp. Then I'll be able to do that, which is that six, the answer. Then uh, you log in. After logging in, so for you to file for P9, you will come here to returns. Don't select NAR returns. Come here and select file returns. So after you have selected file returns, it will take you to the obligation. So after you reach here in the section whereby you are supposed to enter your obligation, for all the people who are Kenyans, for example, like the person who I'm filing for is a Kenyan, so we'll come here, tax obligation, I'll select residence individual because he is a Kenyan. Then click next. Then after clicking next, it will bring you to this page whereby you have some few instructions down here, or now you can go about filing of returns. So uh, the first one is click on the links below to download file uh, Excel sheet. So I'll come here direct uh, below option five, whereby I'm required to download the Excel sheet. So after clicking download, it will download, but for me, I have already one. It will take, it will download, then uh, you will have to extract it and then open it and then you fill the data. So for me, I downloaded it already. So we'll come direct to this point. So this is how it appears, the Excel sheet, before it is filled. Then uh, in this Excel, Excel sheet, you should understand some few things. You are not required to copy and paste everything. You enter the data from scratch. So uh, for us to now fill this one, we shall require what we call P9 form. Because there are several sheets that you are supposed to enter, the employment, the whatever, and the tax com uh, combustions, everything you are supposed to enter. So uh, we require to have a K are a uh, p9 form so in this case i have this one i have a kra this one i know it is not that uh, much visible whereby the first one it is tax date taxable pay then pension then uh, pay auto and used the uh, mpr mpr value and the uh, vote so we shall uh, start now file uh, filling in the excel sheet for me i will not be open this one so much but you can find one that you have but i will be referring to the to the p9 form as you progress so the first thing is that uh, you are required to enter your kra pin so i will start by entering my kra pin uh just a minute so uh here i come here enter kra pin a00 then uh, a zero zero 
we have the 6, 62, 27, 8, E. After entering a KRA, a KRA pin, then click outside or a personal identification number, click outside, then come here. So here is the tax uh, type of return. So there are two major types of returns whereby you are filing for the first time, that is original, and where maybe you file the first time and you made an error, so you require to edit. So you click, for us, we are doing it original. So after that, you are required to enter the dates. We are returning the date for 01, 01, 2018. So after that, you are going to, you are filing now from which period to which period. So this one is 0101 2019 to that one stroke 12 stroke 2019. That's the date. So uh, because I'm not entering so much data in this section, so for now we are done with this section. So then we can go for, for the employment income because we are filing for a TSC teacher. So here we you enter the employer PIN. In this case is P051 Okay, sorry for that. So we shall enter the employer pin, which is a TSC. So we enter P051098. Zero eight four N. Then you enter the employer name, which is TSC. Then the gross pay. So for you to get the gross pay, you need to have now the P9. So we shall go back to our P9 form here. Uh, in this case, we have this taxable pay. Down here we have uh, 429,651. That is as a, as the total, total total gross pay. So we go back and fill that. So it is uh, it is forty nine forty nine uh, forty nine six five. One. So it is indicated in the in the in the in the in the in the P9 form that does not give much problem. So after entering the gross pay, you repeat the same thing here again. So in this section, you realize that it is saying allowance and the benefit for payment and other things. So if in case this person has allowances, you will have to enter it here. So in this case, that this person does not have allowances, so that one is zero. Then uh, net value of the house zero ban, uh, yet. Then uh, also this one is zero. So we go to the next sheet. So uh, in the next uh, Excel sheet, you are required almost to repeat all the information that you entered again. So here we are required to enter. Just a minute. You are required to enter the employer pin again. Uh, there, here, it is here. You can just select it. We repeat TSC again. Then uh, taxable pay. We have the same for 29651. Then uh, <clears throat> you repeat the same thing again. Then here amount of pay deducted. So in the in the in this Excel sheet, you uh, see somewhere where you have it is written uh, pay auto. Just a minute. If you come here, you'll see somewhere where it is written pay auto. Pay auto here, and you come back. You write the same amount again. So pay auto. So you enter forty seven. No, 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 no. There is something that you need to know here. 
for the people who have just pay auto and it is the same thing so you don't need to change anything but here now you see there is a pay auto and the annual pay so the total is 51 422 51 422 so you come here you say 51 422 then uh, you go next go the next uh, sheet this one you don't require to and anything then you come to this last sheet so in this one uh, we have a person uh, knee we have a relief for the relief for TSC you will just enter 16 8 96 16 8 96 16 8 96 so here you will realize that you have a negative value here you have a negative value. This means that there is somewhere that you went wrong. So uh, you we need to look for where we went wrong. We need to see where we went wrong. Okay. I made a mistake here. A mistake here. Amount of tax deducted. So uh, you just require to feed in this one. The, uh, 47 323.75 which is the amount that is required uh, you'll be able just to, to see it is a subtotal of the pay auto it is a subtotal of pay auto so we need to enter that one here which is 47 532 then uh, we go back again here so now it is close but now we don't want this one to happen whereby we have a negative value so we need to look where did we go wrong so we go back again and again this one sometimes requires a lot of time for you to master what is happening but uh, okay i see the problem it is for seven five Okay, the, the Excel sheet is not responding. Just a minute. So it is 47 523.75. Then uh, we go to the last sheet again. So you can see the amount that is remaining is very small. It's a very small amount of money here. So um, you can just come back here and add that amount so instead it will be 47 yeah it will be 47 47 524 instead of 523 then we can go back to the last sheet so now it has balanced and everything is now zero so if everything is now zero what you need to do is click validate so it, it will take some few minutes validating but uh, you can just wait for that to complete and after it has completed you then upload your your returns to the itax uh, just a minute it is still validating it is still validating checking if there is any error that we made this is a process that is a must when you are you are filing kra returns it is a must process when you are filing kra returns sometimes it may take some few minutes okay it tells you after everything is okay it will tell you sheets are ready to be uploaded do you want to generate up, uh, upload file you click yes then it will generate a link uh, a excel sheet that you'll be able to upload then okay then now we can go back to the website after that you go back to the website and uh, you come here now you want to upload that uh, that file you click here browse to upload then after clicking there this is the last one that we made just a few minutes and a few seconds ago. 
then we click open it will upload after it has uploaded agree to the terms then click submit then do you want to upload the form click ok it will take some few seconds oh sorry there is a problem with my internet connection just a minute okay after now uploading the the form then you will agree to the terms here then you click submit then it will ask you do you want to upload the form then you click ok then give it uh, some few seconds now we have uh, successfully found our KRA returns and then after everything is done you will have to see something like this one uh, return received generated return submitted successfully with an acknowledgement number the number is given then you can click and download the receipt then we click to download the receipt there is a problem with this something here small so you click to download the receipt uh, just give it some few seconds it will be able to download the receipt it is taking longer than we expected you can click again to see if there is any problem with it <coughs> There is still uh, some problem with the internet connection.